Hey guys, welcome back to another video. So in this video, in the next couple videos, what I'm going to be doing is setting up a home pen testing lab or a home hacking lab. So if you want to learn how to do this, please follow along. I want to probably make four or five videos. What I have right now, video one is going to download and install VirtualBox on a laptop that I have here. So we're going to be doing every step together, installing VirtualBox, installing Kali Linux, installing Metasploitable 2. And this is like my 2023 version of this. And then we're gonna set up the network in VirtualBox so we can set up that network so we can communicate between our virtual machines and our Kali machine. And then the last video, I'm gonna probably put a bonus and I'm trying to figure out which Vuln Hub machine I wanna do. I'm looking at some, I'm probably gonna do like DC1 and it's like a web application one from what I see. And you can just go to volnhub.com and you know, download uh, DC1. But we'll get to that in video five and I'll show you guys how to download them, install them, configure it and all that stuff. So this is video one. So let's jump into my desktop. And what we're gonna do is install VirtualBox in this machine. So let's get into it, shall we? All right, guys, so now we're on my desktop. So now we're gonna go ahead and download and install VirtualBox, and then we can get this configured and all that stuff and up to date, make sure everything is good. So let's get into it, all right? So I think I forgot to say this in the intro, you know the deal. Please like, subscribe, share, and all that stuff. And let's learn the next couple of videos how to set up a home hacking lab. So let's have some fun, shall we? All right, so we're on our desktop now. Let me just open up Google Chrome. And then we can just go to google.com. And then we're going to do VBox download, which is VirtualBox. So down here, you can just go to Oracle VirtualBox, because it's originally from Oracle. And if you have Windows, download the Windows installer. If you have Mac, Solaris, Ubuntu, etc., go ahead and download the appropriate installer. I downloaded the Windows installer. So if I go down to my downloads folder, I already have it right here. Okay, so I downloaded just to make, you know, just to save some time. All right, so let's go ahead and double click on this. Go ahead and click on yes to make sure we're all good. All right, so now we're welcome to the Oracle VirtualBox. So we're going to be installing 7.0.4 you know, the time of this recording, which is 1-14-2023, right? So let's go ahead and click next, next. So warning, network interfaces, obviously every virtualization platform like VMware, VirtualBox, any of these, we have to install a virtual NIC, virtual adapter in order for the, the, the networks to traverse data between the virtual machines, all right? So let's go ahead and click on yes here. And let's go ahead and just hit on yes here and install and let it go through its merry way. So we'll give this a moment. It's a very quick install, it literally takes, how long was that, 30 seconds? Not even. All right, so we don't have to you know, start it right now. So the next thing is, what you need to do is download the, let's go up here. So let me, let me make this a little larger, maybe so you can see it better. So the next thing is the extension pack. So download the extension pack, make sure you install this, and this will help you make sure like you can uh, bi-directional, uh, you can copy from your host and paste it to your virtual machines, and it just, you know, things work a little smoother, okay? So let me uh, zoom out of that. And now we can just go ahead and open our VirtualBox now. I already downloaded it, so we'll see that in a second. So this is the new VirtualBox, right? If we go to help, about we see 7.0. And you know, you know, if you're running VirtualBox, uh, obviously you're probably not watching this video, but if you already have VirtualBox and you have an older version, maybe you have six or something, you can go to file, check for updates, and see if your thing needs updates. If your VirtualBox needs updates, make sure you're up to the latest and greatest. If you wanna follow along step-by-step -step through these next couple of videos, right? So, 
like I said, the next thing is we can install the extension pack. So once you download it, you can double click on it. I already have mine, so mine's already installed. So that's why it says reinstall. And then it just pretty much next install. And it's very, very simple. All right. So that pretty much concludes this video on installing VirtualBox inside, you know, I have Windows 11. So this will work with Windows 10, Windows 11, and also with Linux and Mac. So until next time, folks, please like, subscribe, and share, and then we will get into the next video soon. Thank you so much and talk to you soon.